Well, now the White House has announced new reporting requirements for nursing homes. Channel 11 Samantha Manning found out what took so long. Nursing homes had already been required to report COVID-19 cases to state health agencies. This new regulation would require them to also report it directly to the federal government and to the families of residents. Nursing homes across the country have become a dangerous hotspot for COVID-19. Having nursing homes report directly into CDC will enhance those overall efforts around surveillance. I spoke one-on-one -on -one with Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services Administrator Seema Verma about the new reporting requirements. What do you say to the families of the residents and the staff members who question why it took so long to require the nursing homes to report this information to the federal government and to the families and residents. There are long-standing regulations in place that require nursing homes to inform family members when there's a change in a patient status. Even though the nursing home industry themselves had recommended that um, there was more information being given about COVID virus spread in the nursing homes, that just wasn't happening. And so that's why we took this extra step. I questioned the administrator about how nursing homes will be held accountable. The language says that if nursing homes don't follow the new order, that there could be a, quote, enforcement action. What exactly does that mean, and what would happen to the facilities that aren't complying? Well, we would impose a fine on them. It'll be $1,000 a week. So if they miss uh, reporting the first time, it'll be $1,000, and then that will increase. Can facilities be shut down if they are repeat offenders and aren't complying with this information? Well, that could be part of it, but we really look comprehensively at, you know, a lot of different factors. And the new regulation says nursing homes must update residents and their families weekly, in addition to any time there is a new COVID-19 case. In Washington, Samantha Manning, Channel 11 News.